Welcome to the Daily Jerry Anderson podcast, which today finds both the presenter and Coilus Interruptus under the weather. Proof, if proof were indeed needed, of the deadly and immediate effects of rapid climate change. There was a time when all music was like that, and it still is on the Sunday Club. <laughs> when are you taking over the Sunday Club? That is so hateful. I know. I it hear you. So I, 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 every Sunday night, I hateful. think about you listening to the Sunday Club and saying, something will happen to John. Oh, don't Bennett. say that. No, I don't want anything to happen that. to John Bennett, but I know stop what you're it. thinking. Well, there's something will happen to me no. retired, and I'll have it all to myself. No. They'll bring all your crap records, and they'll say, Sunday night, they're going nowhere. I can play anything I want to them. That was uh, Willie Nelson, of course. Um, do you know something? I'm sorry, it was just a tad long. <laughs> That's the girl said to the sailor. Just a, a verse too many. Yes, indeed. And the reason why I played that is called Don't Be Ashamed of Your Age. Uh, a lady called Mavis, uh, unconnected with Coronation Street, writes to me and she said that she has found out everything about me by logging on to a particular website, which has nothing to do with the BBC. It's a particular website. I'm not going to g- tell the people what it is, but you can log on to anybody and find out where they live what age they are, and nearly everything about them. And he has, this person has found out all kinds of stuff about me and, and, and has showed me a, a photograph of my house that she's got on the Google Eye. Did well, you know who, that? No, that's frightening. That's frightening. Who's and she knows them? what age I am. That's hateful. I know, it's that's very hateful. Well, You've been everybody, to... everybody knows you're 55, so what odds? Well, she's got it wrong. <laughs> 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 anyway, listen, I've made a... A, 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 a will? Res- no. <laughs> oh, no. What? <laughs> I've made a resolution. I'm not well. You know, funnily enough, you should mention that I've got a terribly sore throat. I have an ear. I have a throat. No, well, I have, I have, a, I have two ears. I, I, no, I have only one ba- throat? No, I have my balance. I wish I had three throats. No, my Is your balance gone? My vertigo's funny. Your vertigo's funny? Yeah. Did, you, did, you, did the bathroom just tilt a little? Ah, it didn't. You know when you, oh. turn, you, know, you turn suddenly, you Oops. lose balance. Uh-huh. Yeah, I well, I woke up with this terrible sore throat. This is like an old people's home. <laughs> 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 no, but I woke up with this terrible throat. It's almost like... Stuff in the back here, so taste. And I rang the doctor, and he's of course he's, he's coming you down. Rang the, you rang the doctor about a, a, a tickly throat. He's coming. I, he's coming down right away. It'll be here. I don't in, believe you. Yeah, it'll be here. Did during, you ring the doctor about a tickly throat? Oh yes, it'll be here during the eleven o'clock news to administer treatment to me. It's people like you that the yeah. health service the way it is. <laughs> the talk turns to consideration of two wheeled modes of transport and the playing of lethal football under a foreign sun. The rapidity of this change of subject is dazzling. To strangers. A lot of people think that snakes are clammy, but they're not. When you look at a snake, they, they glisten, and they seem as if they're wet and slimy and clammy, but they're not. I have held a snake. I haven't. I know. I've yeah. never been on a motorbike or held a snake. <laughs> Why don't you just go on a motorbike with a snake around your neck and just to hell with the whole thing? <laughs> no, snakes... You I'm know, looking away Do you know what a snake is like? Do you see if I grab your wrist? Yes. That's what a snake is like. All right. That's just what a snake is like. Yeah. A snake is just like a man's arm. Uh, I'm looking away at scooters. Are you? Yeah, I see people driving past in little scooters, and I say, I could have one of those. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, Why don't you get one of those bicycles with the engine on? No, them? no, but I, I like those. I wouldn't mind a wee. You can, you can choose whether to pedal or call not. Ves- Vespas? Ves- a Vespa. Ves- that was this? Vespas. You just want to be an Italian, don't you? I want, I want, you want to be Spanish or French. Uh. You know the best thing I ever did one time, and I'll never forget this. And it was a cruel act. And are they expensive? Go- no, not really. Good. You're going to disapprove of this greatly. Yeah. I remember being in Spain one time, many years ago, and uh, I was with a, a relative of mine, and we were playing kind of, this is kind of square, you know? and uh, kind of square? The piazza, whatever a Spanish square right. would be. Okay. Right. Right. I don't know what, right. what you call a Spanish right. square. Right. right, okay, that'll do. I know what you call an Italian square. It's called a piazza. What do you call a Spanish square? It's I don't know. Bull ring. No. Anyway, I was playing tappy tappy football. Tappy tappy football. Tappy tappy football. Tappy football. Do you know a passy outy inny? What do you call that when you pass to one another? That's not a tappy tappy. Well, what, what is it? What, what no, is it? No, we you... had a different name. You, you never. When you play football, and you, and you, 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 you uh, one we had a strange be... word for it. Yeah, tip-cher. there is a word. Tipture. Yes. Tipture. That's. I was playing tipture in a Spanish square, mm-hmm. and uh, every once in a while, these four guys in Vespas came roaring through, right, and then you had to get out of the way. What were your rules in the, t- uh, t- t- the game of Tipsher? I can't remember the rules. It was a long time ago, and it was in Spain. Well, you see, you only could hit it the once. That's the only rule you need. No, no, no. You hit it once. No, but there was also there was also halfways. I never knew that. Yeah, you see, I never went down that road. Can I get back to the story? Three halfways got your penalty. 
Okay. All right, right, go ahead. Whatever you say. Right, right, right. We're back in the Spanish square. Yeah. These guys are going through. Now, I see in my heart and soul that these Spanish guys have spotted that we're tourists. Uh-huh. And they've spotted the fact that whenever we're playing Tipture and they go through, we have to start and get out of the way. And they begin to enjoy this. So they put, you know what I'm swallowing? Do you hear the discomfiture? <laughs> I'm under pain. Anyway, they kept coming through, and they came through, a couple, came through two or three times, right? And I realized that they were jerking our chains, right? Do you know what I did? I waited for them to come through the second, the fourth time from the angle whereby they were coming towards me from the street. And I had the ball, and it was a real football, and I just whacked it. And I hit a guy on the head. I lie. I did. I lie. I, I didn't mean to, mm-hmm. but I did. I know. Mm. And the guy, guy went off the bank. What a lie. No, the guy went off the bank. Yeah. And uh, the guys come over and go, I'm sorry, lads, an accident. I'm sorry, lads, an accident. And there was not a thing they could do, and they called the police. And I said, sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Accident, sorry. And I'm so happy because I meant to do it. Although himself part of the media which he so despises, the presenter rails against those like himself who make a living reporting on various forms of entertainment, personalities, etc., that the public allegedly take a keen interest in. I'm not going to read any newspaper articles that are involved in either of these subjects. I'm not going to listen to anyone who talks about either of these three subjects ever again as long as I live. Do you know what the three subjects are? The Royal Wedding, Doctor Who, and Fern Britain. Okay? All right. Don't mention any of those things to me until they're all over or dead. A, Royal Wedding is fine for those who like it, and I mean no disrespect to people who like that kind of thing, but it's too much. Doctor Who, it's for children. Okay. Where is the wedding, by the way? Fern, 29th, we're off. 29th of what? April. Oh, this month. Well, what's What's on the 5th of May? The 5th of May is on the 5th of May. Uh, what? The 29th of April is the World Wedding, and we are being given a day off. Something on the 7th of May. I don't know what it is. On the 29th of April, we will be... This ah, my car's for the MOT. That's what it is. That's a, I, knew, I knew there was a date coming up, an important date coming up. That is important. Yeah. Here, there's something uh, I've been reading the papers, uh, which is why I decided never to uh, listen to or read or have anything to do with the Royal Wedding, Doctor Who or Fair in Britain anymore. And I noticed that everybody, when you read the papers, uh, all you read about is sex cheats, love rats, stalking and weekend romps. I've decided I want to be a sex cheat, love rat, stalking weekend romper. Have you ever wanted to be that? Just to see what it's like. Mm-hmm. Geordie Tuft is not like other people. For a start, other people are normally sober at 10.30 in the morning, but let's not let sobriety get in the way of these daily proceedings. There's 12 or 15 people that's phoned me up. Yes. Want to know where they can buy the tickets for your bus trip. The bus trip has not been organised yet. It's to do with the city of culture. Yes, that's what they were asking about. They don't talk to me. I'm trying to find some way through to it. Uh, some arrangements have yet to be made. Listen, Geordie, whenever this bus trip is uh, pinpointed and planned and indeed uh, given the go-ahead and a date picked, you should be the first man to know. Did you well, get Emma? Has Emma gone yet? No, but sure, that's not until uh, two years. <coughs> oh, no, no, it's going to be shortly. Oh, no, no this is a, a kind of a preamble. A two-year preamble? It's a, it's a bus tour of all the places in Derry that I was born in. We go around all those places. It's just a kind of a. It's for people who had never been to the city before. People who had never been to Derry, Stoke, London, Derry. People who would like to see what all the fuss is about. I'll show them all the trouble spots. You know the place where we used to throw the sink down at the army. Are you doing this uh, every day? Uh, no, for one a week? day. One day. But sure, a lot of people would like to, to, to go in that. Surely you should be doing it there. Well, we shall be selective. Oh, we no, only, you couldn't do it every no, day. No, we can't do it every day. No. What do you think? There's a. Uh, City yeah. tours? Mm. No, we do it one day. It's a very expensive thing to go on outside broadcast. Yeah. We're broadcasting from the bus. I want an open-topped bus, but I would need an umbrella or a burka. So uh, we're going to do that, and, uh, but only people who have never been to the city before are allowed so to go So how are you going to vet people? I'm going to ask them. I'm going to get a rubber truncheon. Yeah, go down well, it. Says, <laughs> says, no, we were never here. Sure, Jordy, Jordy's been here a, a, a dozen times. I know, but he's the exception. I know he's been here a dozen times. He got into a fight, didn't he, here? He did not. He did. I had a... Split it up. He did not. Now, what, what, what do you call a that man bar? Was cheeky to him. 
And I was oh, cheeky to him in yes. the Don Bar and I had a step in. Remember that, Jordy, at Halloween? I mean, in the Don was a cheeky... Article, yeah. Oh, I don't know, Don by needed a total lesson. I know, but you shouldn't do that at 12 o'clock in the morning. What's the I'm... best way to remove a tick? Thank you for listening. Back tomorrow.